Hello guys, in this video we will see why we need recurrent neural networks when we already have a standard neural network something called as artificial neural network which looks like this why we need another type of neural networks which is called as recurrent neural networks ok so let's see when it comes to NLP the sequence uh, when I say sequence uh, it's a arrangement of words in some order right so that matters a lot right so I can say I ate an apple pie today today I ate an apple pie so both gives us the same meaning right but in order for the machine to understand that both the sentences gives us the same meaning these standard neural networks or artificial neural networks doesn't do good and it will cause the problem why let me explain that to you today right so let me write sentence one here i'll broke it into tokens okay so i ate an apple pie today right so this is my one sentence and each of these tokens will be fed as feature to our artificial neural networks right so in order for this network to learn something about i right if i feed this as an input to this neuron in the input layer so in order to learn i some set of weights will be activated right so in order for this whatever goes out of this neuron with different colors those weights will be activated right so these edges you can treat it as weights okay so for i let's say this one this one this one and this one so these four set of weights will be activated in order to learn something about i now if i change my sentence like this instead of i ate an apple today i will say today i ate an apple pie today i ate an apple pie so both sentences gives us the same meaning right but the organization or the arrangement of words are at different positions so now in order for this network to learn i it has to activate different set of weights right so if you look at this i will give this as input here right now whatever edges associated with this neuron should be activated and learned just to learn what this word or what this token represents right so this is called as parameters are not shared in case of artificial neural network so this problem what i explained here is called as unshareable parameters unshareable parameters okay hope this is clear so this is one of the problems when it comes to nlp as why we cannot use artificial neural networks right so another problem is the input sequence or let's not worry about input as of now the test text sequence text sequence can be of different length right can be of different length okay what do i mean by this some sentence can have 10 words another sentence can have as few as four words another sentence can have as many as 50 words right so when these input when these text sequences or the number of words in the text differs the architecture becomes the problem so how do you decide how many neurons we should have in our input layer so usually we should be having so many neurons as many number of neuron as many number of features we have in our data set but when it comes to different sequence lengths right uh, when i say sequence lengths different number of words so each word will be treated as a feature right so when it comes to different sequence lengths we cannot restrict the neural network architecture with standard ANNs, artificial neural networks to have fixed number of neurons you can counter this argument stating that okay no matter what the length of the sequence that i get i will fix some hundred neurons in the input layer yes you can do that but you never know a new sentence can come up which has 101 words in that particular sequence so at the time what you would do you need to rearrange the architecture again so let's say in order to counter that also you will say okay i'll have arbitrarily infinite number of neurons in the first layer let's say you have infinite memory with you and you will be able to create a, as large neural network as possible but having those many input layers is not ideal 
when you have those many input layers the number of weights associated with them will also increase exponentially right so when it come if you take uh, the count of these parameters in this network how many are there so this is w1 w2 w3 so shape of the w1 matrix is 4 cross 5 4 cross 6 right so this is 6 so 24 at the first layer then 2 cross 4 we need to learn 8 in the second layer then 1 cross 2 so 2 in the third layer so we will add it up right so 24 plus 8 32 plus 32 34 parameters we have to learn in this so just imagine if you have 1000 neurons in your input layer just for the sake of not utilizing other kind of networks if you argue that the number of weight parameter weights or the parameters that you have to update during back propagation will increase exponentially which is not ideal okay so this is another problem which these standard neural network artificial neural networks cannot address so right now i told you two issues right so one is unshareable parameters i have given a good ex example here with the same sentence uh, the same sentence told in a different way but the meaning is same so this is what represents unshareable params problem and another thing is the text sequence can be of different length we can have multiple we can have 10 word sentence we can have four word sentence we can have 50 words in a sentence so so on and so forth right so these two problems are not addressed with the standard artificial neural networks right there are some additional things which we need to address such as when it comes to encoding the words so you know any ml or dl algorithms we need numbers as inputs right we need numbers as inputs correct but these words needs to be converted into numbers if we are dealing with nlp right it needs to be into numbers converted into numbers right so we have understood some of the concepts in what that is bag of words we know that we know what is tfidf so we know these two things right so these two things basically concentrate on the word frequency right and then convert them into convert each word into some sort of numbers based on the logic that each one follows so if you have not seen my videos on bag of words and tfidf please uh, go back to my nlp playlist and you will find first two three you will find these concepts explained in my first two three videos okay so please go back and watch that since these are associated with only word frequencies it has a problem with it right so if i if i say uh, let's say I am bringing four people with me. Four people with me. Right? This is one sentence. In another case, I will say, I am coming alone. So, if you just read it, it says that total five people are coming. And it says us only one person is coming. That's me. Right? But if you just use bag of words and tfidf this information we can never get out of tfidf and bag of words our networks or our ml model will never get this particular message which particular message the first sentence is stating that i am coming with four additional set of people so it will be total five people and in the second sentence it states that i am coming alone and in this case there is only one person who is coming and that's me so this kind of meaning will never be interpreted or we cannot pass on this kind of information to the ml and dl algorithms and they cannot understand this right with the help of bow and tfidf you can say we have something called as word to vec okay we have word to vec there is no doubt on that so what word to vec does so this is an implement over bow and tfidf but does this address the problems like this no right so what word to vec does it just creates word embeddings so what it does it groups similar words together and the words which give opposite meaning will be separated by a large distance and how do we calculate the similarity with the help of cosine similarity right so i have explained all this about word to vec in my another video it has in it has been in two parts word to vec part one word to vec part two so please go back to my nlp playlist and watch that if you haven't watched it okay so now that we have seen what problems we face with the traditional artificial neural networks and the known methods to convert 
words into numbers such as bio bag of words tf idf and word prove we come and address all this problem with a different type kind of architecture and we call that as recurrent neural networks recurrent neural networks okay so how does this look like so before we dive deep into how this looks like and how it works i want you guys to think of whatever we speak with respect to nlp in terms of time steps time steps or you can call them as time stamps so whatever word or terminology you are comfortable with you can use it so i usually use time steps step time okay so i, I usually use this in my all preceding videos okay upcoming videos so so why we need to understand what the sequence or whatever text that is in nlp with respect to nlp in terms of time step why because let me take the same example i ate an apple pie today right and other sentence states today i ate an apple pie so both sentence gives us the same meaning it has same number of words now what happens at first i will be my first input so i'll consider this as my input at time 1 okay 8 is my second input i'll consider this as input at time 2 you can take this as time ticks so at first tick i get i at second tick i get 8 i at third tick i get an so something like this okay so on and so forth in the end we get x t x so what is this t x it will be the length of our sequence length of our sequence or sentence okay so this one i want you to embed in your mind and do not forget to treat each word at each time steps okay so at tick 1 or time step 1 we get one word at time step 2 we get second word at time step 3 we get third word so on and so forth okay now just to introduce you how this rnn looks like so it looks something like this so let me draw a block here okay so this will be my x t these are all my neurons in the hidden layer and i will have my predictions at time stamp t and there will be something called as feedback loop which we will feed the activations out of the hidden layers i call this as at and to start with zeroth time we will have something called as a0 which will be a vector of all zeros okay so this is how a simple rnn looks like okay in my next video i will expand this rnn into multiple steps so that i can explain you how forward propagation works in rnn and in my next video to that that will be the third video you will understand how back propagation works in rnn and why we need back propagation okay so hope you guys understood why we need rnn or why we need a separate kind of neural networks in order to work with nlp hope that is clear so if you have any doubts please reach out to me in comment sections i'll be happy to help you uh, another thing if you are liking my content please give it a thumbs up it will help to reach multiple audience so that they will also be benefited out of my teachings right so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed see you all in the next video happy learning bye bye